Hello fellow crafters, my name is George and this is the Spare Time G and today we're gonna make the life-size model of the snake Black Mamba. He is called Black because of black mouth, not the skin color. If you enjoy my projects, consider subscribing and turning the notification bell on to get notified once I upload new videos. So Black Mamba is my, one of my favorite snakes, uh, they can slither up to 19 km per hour, uh, which is I think the fastest of them, of the snake kingdom. And this is the frame, uh, the basic frame for the snake body, which is just a steel wire co coated with the duct tape for uh, paper addition process. And this is the paper wrapped version of our uh, snake. Uh, the trick here is that the bottom and the top part of the body are narrower and the middle is the thickest of them. But make sure not to wrap too much uh, of the paper onto the wire. I went more like a moving uh, version of the snake pose, which is this kind of uh, odd uh, S shape. So this is the uh, clay added version, as you can see it looks much thicker, uh, I hadn't done any smoothing part for this, uh, it is just a rough sketch of the clay coated version. Yeah, the snake looks much uh, thicker and it is really heavier, uh, because of that you can really easily shape it and uh, the snake will stay at the, um, at the desired shape. Here you can see that I have smoothened up the snake body and also made the distinctive shape of it. Um, the bottom part of the circle is a little bit saggier than the total proportions. And yeah, you can even think that it is all done and now I just need to paint it up. I have even made the head of the snake and jaws and yeah, it is really like 90%, right? No, unfortunately it is not. I then, I then went and made the snake texture which took a really long time. And this is the result of this uh, crazy scaling uh, or uh, how to say it, uh, yeah, I have made a maybe thousands of tiny tiny clay pieces and added them to the uh, snake body and covered them up uh, totally. Right now it looks uh, like roundish but if you press one of them or even a couple of them they uh, go closer together and they can make the angular shape which I am going to. Uh, I, that is my like desire to make this kind of texture on the whole snake body and you can see also I have made the mouth and teeth. So these protrusions uh, serve two pur purposes. First is just a overall look and texture of the skin and the second is uh, because of the painting side I have utilized some kind of uh, strange technique for the painting. I will show it to you later. And uh, right now uh, I have also gone through the whole body of the snake and made the whole like this small protrusions little uh, push them in inside the uh, snake body and it made them a little bit more like angular and uh, this is the uh, first stage of my coloring process. I don't know if you can see it is uh, like dark Mm, greenish uh, dark color and then I went and scrape it off with the wet wipes and this is the result I get. Uh, also I have painted the mouth into the distinctive black color and uh, this technique because of these uh, borders of those uh, tiny tiny uh, scales uh, the border parts are darker and the top parts are lighter. Unfortunately on the camera and because of the video editing it looks much greenish than it is in the real life. It is like grayer uh, on my table right now. And yeah, that was it. You can always go to my Facebook page and see pictures of this and other of my projects. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I enjoyed making it. It was a lot of work, especially all these um, skin textures just draw me crazy. But I'm really happy with the end result. Have a nice day and see you next time. Goodbye.